Everything you need to know about the fascinating world of cryptocurrencies is in this channel. So if that's what you're looking for, then you've come to the right place. Welcome. Cryptocurrencies are digital currencies and are probably the biggest revolution in economic history. Now one of the reasons why they are gathering so much attention has to do with the financial mess in which many countries find themselves in today. In this free course you are going to learn how to get cryptocurrencies in a few easy steps. I am going to guide you by the hand and you will end up with a significant understanding about this global trend as well. And I know many of you, all you want to know is how to make money with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. And I will show you how people make money with cryptos and how you can do it too. But more importantly, the main focus is going to be getting a profound understanding, something that will serve you in the long run. Some countries already recognize them as international currencies like Japan and Liberland. And what if I told you that there is very little information about who invented this thing? In 2009, it's a serious creator used an online nickname for which no one has ever heard anything since. Yet cryptocurrencies continue to be used to transfer billions all over the world. Bright minds from the technology industry and the investment sector have shared their enthusiasm for this phenomenon. Bitcoin, a currency that's really going to work eventually? Well, I think it is working. Um, and uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. Yeah, that's what we're here for. So when I started talking about cryptocurrencies a few years ago around my circle, it would raise many eyebrows and there was very little information about it and it was everything very techy. But I knew how revolutionary this whole thing was and its potential. And now it's all over the news and I'm so glad to see it gets the attention it deserves. I've become this type of translation layer for many of my colleagues. I think for the everyday person, it's quite hard if you approach it from a technical perspective, except for a few brain boxes. But I think it's so easy to understand these concepts if explained in layman terms, because it's not rocket science. On the other hand, I do find it necessary to open this to as many people as possible. I think like having an email, like if you don't, you're sort of missing out on the benefits. Hi, I'm Julia and welcome to episode one of Cryptocurrency Energy Learning. I'm glad to have you joining me in this thrilling journey. To make sure we cover everything, we will start from the most elemental things. I want to mention that the objective of these series of lessons has been to encapsulate all the necessary information to get started in cryptos. So you don't have to spend three hours researching to gain 10 minutes of knowledge and all in a synthesized, simple and funny manner. We're going to focus on energy cryptocurrency, which is my favorite cryptocurrency, but this information can be applied for pretty much all cryptocurrencies. So you might start knowing absolutely nothing about this movement, but you will end up knowing everything you need to know about cryptocurrencies. And furthermore, you will have a cryptocurrency wallet and you will know how to send and receive cryptocurrencies just like that. So get a cup of coffee, relax, lay back, open your mind, and let me do the job of summarizing it all for you, because this has the potential to significantly change your life. How does that sound? Okay, first let me share with you a few tips about this program. If English is not your preferred language, here on the right side of this YouTube channel, you might find other different language channels with very similar content. In all the description boxes of the videos, you can find a little index. This learning course has been organized with chapter headings so you can navigate it pleasantly and you can make it sort of interactive so you can quickly find the parts that you want. This will save you time. Okay, here is the summary of what we are going to learn. For episode one, introduction to cryptocurrencies, which is this one. And this is more like a short introductory video rather than the full episode, but I will address some of the typical questions I get. Episode two is gonna be basics of the current economics. And this will help us understand the why of the crypto revolution. Episode three is the basics of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. This will give you a good understanding of what this is and what it means for the world. Episode four will be basic concepts and terminology you must know of cryptocurrencies. These are concepts you will hear very often and are essential for everything crypto related. Episode five will be what is energy cryptocurrency and that's my favorite cryptocurrency flavor and I'll explain why. Episode six is security prevention measures for cryptocurrencies. This is important to know before getting started. So in episode seven is gonna be creating our first cryptocurrency wallet. And see it like opening a cryptocurrency bank account. And then episode eight will be how to buy cryptocurrencies. I'll guide you along in a tutorial style while I do the process myself. 
Episode 9 is sending and receiving currencies. And then finally, episode 10 will be some personal thoughts and helpful links about cryptocurrencies. If you want to jump directly to any particular episode, you can do so in just my menus, just by clicking on it. However, I encourage you to follow the full program since it will show you some of the key things and it might prevent you from making some common mistakes. And without further ado, let's celebrate this video number one. Answering the number one question I get asked every day about cryptocurrencies, which is how do people make money with cryptocurrencies? And the answer is because some of them rise in price over time. This is called investing and people invest in cryptocurrencies just by simply purchasing them. As you probably know, some old coins are worth a lot. Many collectors search for them and sometimes they're ready to pay a lot to acquire them. Some of those coins were maybe not even worth that much back when old societies used them. But finding them can be quite hard. And now when one goes on sale, it can be very expensive. Collector coins are tangible assets. You can touch them, but there are things like intellectual property or even a website domain. So like facebook.com, that's an intangible asset, but they have value too. Buyers of collectible coins have a list of reasons why they want to buy those coins. They could represent a part of history, or maybe they'll sell them in the future for a profit, or there's so many other reasons. And the price is subject to the law of supply and demand, buyers and sellers. If there's more willingness to buy than sell, the price will go up. These dynamics have been like this since trading existed. When it comes to cryptocurrencies, it works exactly the same way. Instead of being a physical asset, it's a digital asset. Instead of buying old physical coins, they're buying cryptocurrencies. Because instead of gathering them for collector's reasons, buyers of cryptocurrencies have other motives, which we'll cover in the next episodes. But the dynamics are the same, not only for cryptos, but for many other things like art, old cars, real estate, etc. Overly simplistic, if you buy a crypto coin today for $100 and sell it for $200 tomorrow because the price has gone up, you've made a profit. Now this is called trading and we investors do something similar but with a longer term approach and based on other factors in the daily price fluctuation. Cryptocurrencies are very easy to buy and sell. The process is easier than buying a book on Amazon and storing them is even easier. You just have to keep them in your wallet while hopefully increasing in price. Many think you need to be rich to start in cryptocurrencies and that's completely wrong. You can start investing from a few cents to billions. Actually, the truth is that you can even start with no money at all by participating in airdrops, for example. Now, airdrops are marketing campaigns that crypto projects do to promote their coins. Basically, they send free money to your wallet and exchange, you need to follow them on social media and things like that. Instead of paying for advertising agencies, they directly pay you to spread the word. It's just one more way to do online marketing. Once you receive the coins, you can then sell them and get cash out or keep them as an investment. It is hard to avoid the shining side when you talk about cryptos, which is the immense profits. What interests me the most is the ideological background of cryptocurrencies, what it means in terms of freedom for society. But I understand many newcomers, all they care about is how much will I make? I haven't made these videos for me. I have made them to answer the most frequently asked questions and how much can be made is on top of the list. So what I'm gonna do is use real life examples. So I just purchased this pizza with crypto money, but let me tell you something far more mind blowing. A pizza, just like this one, was sold in 2010 for 10,000 Bitcoins, when a Bitcoin was worth a few cents. Now those 10,000 Bitcoins are worth around $80 million. There is even a website widget called the Bitcoin Pizza Day Tracker to see exactly how much it is at any given time. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I wish I had got some coins back then. I feel you on that one. We cannot change the past, but we can change the future. What if I told you that similar scenarios still happen sometimes? I will show you what could be the next thing in the upcoming videos. So if you think the crypto party is over, like I did at first, let me tell you this game has not even started yet. If anything, you are too early. To get the full picture, however, I need to tell you some things that are not told on TV, nor in schools. So get ready because I'm coming with you some heavy stuff in the next episode. Now, I hope you like this video, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you knew cryptocurrencies could be so profitable or if this is completely new to you. I'll see you in the next episode with more information.